Howe is serving three and a half years in prison after a federal jury found last year that he and two of his fellow officers violated Mr. Floyd's civil rights by failing to provide medical care during the incident. Sentencing, sentencing is set for August 7th. Tao faces an additional 41 to 57 months in prison. Firefighters were on scene of a house fire on Axland Road in Wheatland yesterday evening. Emergency crews from DeSoto, Wheatland and Stoddard responded to the fire. Crews from the Genoa Harmony Fire Department were also there. Footage from the scene shows heavy damage to the house. We'll have more information as it becomes available. A Democratic member of Wisconsin's Election Commission is resigning. 72-year-old Julie Glancy is officially stepping down this week. Scott Walker appointed Glancy to one of three Democratic seats back in 2016. And Tony Evers reappointed her for another five years in 2021. Glancy says in a statement she wants to make way for someone with a fresh view. The governor will appoint a Democratic successor from a list of former local government clerks. One of the proposals in Governor Evers' budget is more money for mental health care. May is National Mental Health Awareness Month, and today Governor Evers stopped by the Cooley Recovery Center. Governor Evers proposed a $500 million investment to support mental health and behavior services in his budget. Cooley Recovery Center helps people struggling with mental health and substance abuse. The center's leaders say extra funding would be critical. A lot of individuals who need these services uh, may not have good insurance, may not have insurance at all, and you know sometimes it really just needs to have something that they don't have to pay for. The governor also stopped by North Lakes Community Clinic in Eau Claire. Wisconsin Senator Brad Papp and other state officials were in La Crosse to visit the FJ Robbers Company, who recently received a grant from the state's Harbor Assistance Program. Grant money will go towards rebuilding the dock's wall to improve and excuse me, to improve the import and exportation of goods such as corn and grain. Senator Papp explained how all forms of transportation and the economy are connected with one another. Just this one barge right over here. Uh, loaded with grain, take 70 semis uh, off the highway. Just think about that for a second. All of this is interconnected. FJ Robbers received $1.7 million to help rebuild their docks walls. Just in time for Mother's Day, a local group is kicking off its flower sale. For the 43rd year running, the Franciscan Healthcare Auxiliary will be sending geranium and hibiscus flowers to raise money for nursing scholarships. With a number of studies in recent years finding critical shortages in nurse staffing levels, the Auxiliary's president says the scholarship is a valuable resource for future nurses in the La Crosse area. We have a great time supporting this event and greeting our people. We have so many recipients that come back yearly and continue to purchase from our sale because they want to pay it forward. Although online ordering has ended, some plants may be available for purchase in person today and Thursday at the garage located between 11th and Ferry Streets in La Crosse. Volunteers and active employees in La Crosse are providing produce for the community. Active Community Victory Garden marks their fourth year as a Hope Grows Community Garden location. The garden provides free and readily available produce for people in the La Crosse community that may not be able to afford it. Volunteers planted produce ranging from potatoes to carrots and lettuce. One volunteer says the garden keeps her busy. It's a lot of fun gets you outside, it's very convivial here, and I love the idea of raising some food for the community. If you would like to volunteer at one of the La Crosse neighborhood gardens, you can tell the number, call the number on your screen. We will also post more information on our website, news8000.com. You can hear from a fixture of baseball history in La Crosse today. Dolly Osborne is the guest speaker for the next Wise Wednesdays program at the La Crosse Community Connection Center. Dolly will discuss her time as a professional women's baseball player in the All-American Girls Pro Baseball League and answer questions. The event is today from 1030 a.m. to noon and free to attend. We have more information on news8000.com.
And as you head out the door this morning, temperatures are in the 40s under mostly clear skies. We will see an increase in cloud cover, however, later in the day today, especially this afternoon with temperatures in the 60s, so a little bit warmer than the previous few days. Also, the wind speeds will be a lot lighter. Now for tomorrow, even warmer than that as high temperatures pick up to 74 degrees. Watching for a chance of scattered showers and storms for Friday and some more storm chances are in the forecast Sunday and also into next week on Monday, Wednesday of next week. Thanks, Derek. Yeah. And thank you for watching News 8 Now. Don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on News8000.com. We will have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. Have a great day, everyone, and thank you for watching News 8 this morning.